Mr. and Mrs. Rodriguez, you had two jet skis, sea dews yes. yes. And you rented them to Mr. and Mrs. Beckham, who were going on vacation. You were going on vacation with how many children? One of ours, four of the other couples. Five children total, one... Just a second. Five children total, ages of the five children. Mine was one and a half, Didn't seven... Didn't drive a jet ski. No. Next. <laughs> seven. Didn't drive a jet ski. No. Ten. Maybe. Five. No. And I believe Sataya is 11, 12. How many adults? Eight. Eight adults. Nine. Nine, Nine adults. Nine adults. How many jet skis did you have? Two. You went away from when to when? We left the 24th of June and we came home on early morning the 10th. Of July. So you had the jet skis a little more than two weeks? Yes. And for the jet skis, you paid $1,000? Yes. For both? Yes. You were supposed to have insurance. Did you have insurance? Yes, we did. Jet skis were damaged? They had previous damage. They were damaged. You were away with the jet skis. There's no question in my mind that they were used over the two weeks that you were there by nine adults. I don't think that the little children drove them, but maybe they were passengers. Yes. What damage was caused when they were in your care? On the gray jet ski, um, the bumper, the rubber bumper. There was an around. accident. On the gray jet ski, there was an accident. Who yes, was driving? I was. Who else was on the jet ski at the time you were driving? It? Nobody, just me. On what date? The Friday before we came home, just two days before we came home. So it was on July the 8th? I believe, yes. And who else was out with you on the other jet ski? Ashley was. Who was that? Ashley Bocanagra, she is Javier's wife. And that was also on July the 8th? Yes. We had gone out together on one, me on one jet ski and her on the other. Very good. And that was the only time there was in an accident? Yes. <laughs> okay. So that takes care of your counterclaim. Your counterclaim is for the return of your money because you said you couldn't use them only 12 hours of all the time. And here you have this, them from the 24th of June and you were still on them on July 8th. Yes, we rode them. And you yes, were still we on them on July 8th. Yes, and you we did ride them when they started. Oh, okay. We, Very yes. good. All right. So your counterclaim is dismissed. Okay. Now let's just get to the claim. Okay. Do you have pictures of the jet skis when you gave them? Yes, ma'am. Turn them over. May I see them, please? I have pictures of them in the garage and then when I pulled them out and as they drove off with them. And they are in perfect condition. Correct. Show these to the defenders, please, Bert. Thank you. They're dated. Now I'd like to see what they look like when you got them back. This is the uh, GT. This is the uh, supercharge. This. All right, so this is the bumper. Was That's that on the blue one. Okay. Not the one she said she had wrecked. Is this also the bumper? Is this? A... That's the back piece now. That's back the back bumper. Yes. Those are two different uh, incidents. What is this? That's a chip on top of the seat where your feet go. I have no clue how that happened. And then the uh, other pictures you see when they took them, that there was not chipped. Well, it wasn't chipped. I saw the photographs. Oh yeah, uh, the top piece. What is this a photograph of? That's the back bumper on the, the, the right-hand corner. It came back with no bumper. With no bumper? Yes. And as you see the picture when they were torn away, you could clearly see the black bumper on it. Did you call them? Yes. And what did you tell them? Well, when we reached out to them and we were coming back from our vacation, we told them uh, to don't worry about bringing the sea back that Sunday night because we're running behind. That we will, uh, They could drop them off later on that uh, the following day, which is a Monday, and then that's when she uh, told us that there was a small incident that she had wrecked uh, the GTX supercharged, the the one she admitted to, the gray one, and then she had stated that don't worry about it, uh, we're going to get them fixed. They're going to go to the shop, and we'll let you know when they're fixed. So I got, I was a little disappointed, but I took their word for it, and I was like, they're, they're being adults, they're taking care of it, um, they're going to the shop. Well, what shop was she going to take it to? Uh, she said that one of the friends, the one who had told it, he was a, he knows a good buddy at a shop, and uh, I was okay. And I did ask, what shop are you going, uh, taking him to? And she told me I had to ask her friend, which I didn't even know at the time or anything. So she had her friend give me a call, and that's when he admitted that he did not take him to a shop there at his house, and he was going to do the job himself. Who was going to do the job? Uh, Javier. Mm -hmm.